welcome to the channel guys uh, make sure you like the video subscribe you know the usual blah 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 youtube stuff get the algorithm up and all that right anyway enough of that welcome this is going to be an eight minute video ranting about leicester it's not really uh look we were terrible against liverpool we folded the first 25 minutes all right, not bad. You know, we contained it. I don't think Liverpool really strung a pass together very well. They couldn't find their way through. But the moment the goal went in, we flat packed, we folded, we crumbled. And then it was just onslaught after onslaught. Now, 3 0 doesn't wreck. I don't think that reflects the scoreline for me because obviously of the, the offside. I thought it was offside, but, you know, VAR will look at it in a different frame. It's offside and the different frame it is onside. It's one of them, whatever. The third goal, free kick, fantastic strike from Trent. Absolutely brilliant. But let's be real, it wasn't a free kick. Now, I'm not ranting. I'm, I really am, but it wasn't a free kick. Now, there's some controversy on that, that game. The fans calling out Feed the Scousers and calling Hillsborough stuff. Now... I'm not getting into it too much, but I've also seen the other side, the helicopter this, helicopter that. I've seen it all from both sides. And to be quite honest with you, they're fully grown men. And if they're going to say stuff at each other, that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm not saying it's acceptable. I'm not trying to shade light on Leicester fans being worse and or better. To be honest with you, it's all terrible. They're all as bad as each other. And... And that's it, right? It happens, it, unfortunately, at the ground. We get it a lot at the King Power with heli blokes doing this with their helicopters. You know, that that's just part of football, unfortunately. It's never going to go away. It's it's just shit banter. And unfortunately, if a disaster's happened to your club, Munich, Pillsborough, Vichai's helicopter, whatever it is, Unfortunately, after a few years, it's just going to be used as a device of, I suppose, it just, I don't really know, teasing the opposition, I suppose. It's, it's vile. Look, we'll move on from that. I don't know where we're going to get points playing the way we are. We've got to change it up. We've got Newcastle coming up at the weekend, well, Monday. We could be relegated by Monday. We could be relegated if Forrest... Go, uh, they've got Arsenal. They get points. Everton somehow managed to get some points. We've, we're gone. We are now in. We're in the passenger seat, which is not where you want to be in a relegation fight. But yeah, here we are. Vardy looked pissed off at post match, and to be honest with you, I'd be pissed off if my teammates weren't helping me because no one's got any fight in this team. No one. There's no passion. No fight. Now. I love a, a little bit more that's gone on. Um, Dean Smith. <laughs> Dean Smith. He said that with his players that he's got, it will be a miracle to stay up. That's almost like for like what Brendan was, was saying. He's now burying our own players. I don't know if he's going to stay on when we go down into the championship. I really, really hope not. I don't know who we want in yet. Let's just focus on trying our best to get to the end of this season and somehow magically stay up. It's not going to happen. But we've we've got two games to go, so anything can happen in the Premier League. Um, oh, by the way, breaking news. Ivan Tony has been banned for uh, eight months up to the, about the 20th of January 2024. So that's an interesting story in itself. Um I don't know what that means for, for Brentford. I don't know what that means for Ivan Tony's career for, for England. What a player as well. Such a such a shame, such a waste, because he's a great player, great striker. And one I thought, oh, you know what? If Brentford go down, we could pull him in. Well, that, that time's gone. We've had chance after chance after chance to take players that have gone down, like Bournemouth. You know, Callum, uh, Callum, Callum Wilson and um, Tarkowski, for example... I'm just making these off the top of my head. Teams have gone down. We've had chances and chances to take people like Pope, goalkeeper Pope. But we haven't. And that's another reason why we're in the shits. We are in the squitter shits right now. We're in trouble. 
Everson should have started the season in goal, but Ward, Rodgers has loyal to him because he was an academy lad while I was at Liverpool managing. <sighs> leadership. We're lacking leadership. Kasper Schmeichel going. There's no one in that dressing room. There's no one. There's no one. Why is Vardy not got the captain's armband? Give our Vardy, Jamie Vardy, the captain's armband. That is what we should have done when Casper left. That's the player that should have had the captain's armband. Nobody else. He should have been making the decisions on penalties. He should have been making the decisions on the pitch. Vardy is the captain material that we need. I believe if you stick the captain's armband on Vardy, there's a chance. There's a chance that, that team will find some sort of fight in the last two games. We have no no desire to win the ball. The the lack of press, the pressure on the ball, lack of just lack of effort from this team is embarrassing. And you know what? The fans walking out, fair fucking play. They pay their money to go to sit there at the King Power and watch that team. And they can they have their they have full rights to shout that they are not fit to wear the shirt because they've paid their money. If you pay your money to sit on that seat, you should have the right to say whatever you want to say about your team. And that is fact. I'm not a big supporter in it myself, but I understand the people that do it. They have the right to speak up. And that's it. You can back the lads. You can go against the lads. You paid the right to, to have an opinion. That is it. I've seen fans fighting, scrapping, scra all on Twitter. I've seen it happen in the stands as well when I've been there. Last time we were in a situation with Claude Puel in charge. I've seen it all before and it's happening now. The fact of the matter is, regardless of how you feel about the players, we all support the same club. We've got to just try and find a way of getting through the next two games as a as a unit as players and fans i plead you to somehow somehow find a way of getting some points we need we need 34 points 35 points should be enough to stay up we need a win and a draw and i think that will be enough personally will be we have goal difference better than the others we've got to get four points to stay up really i think four points to stay up can we do it not sure guys i shall see you very soon on the channel make sure you smash a like on the videos love you all shall see you very soon see you in a bit